Healthy Habits and JulieGetty.com. How are you all doing today? Is everybody getting ready for the big weekend, 4th of July weekend? Hope you are. Hope you'll have some, some good plans. I wanted to go ahead and share a little recipe that I have um, that works great for helping your animals through this 4th of July weekend. You know, we all um, are having a great time, but the animals sometimes aren't um, real keen on the firecrackers and the fireworks, you know, and some, a lot of times uh, dogs and cats will panic and they'll just go ahead and run off. Matter of fact, I believe 4th of July is the largest um, festivity or event that animals actually get loose and they go ahead and, um, and run off. And we definitely don't want you to do that. So here is a recipe that's going to go ahead and um, help your animals relax. And basically you're just, it's going to be in a roller ball. You're going to go ahead and take an empty roller ball. You're going to go ahead and put in three drops of vetiver. And vetiver is a very thick oil if you haven't used it yet. So I go ahead and um, I take out the stopper and then I'm just going to go ahead and um, drop it in this way. So we're going to go ahead and do one, two, three drops. Whoops, a little bit more. My dog will be calm. Um, a vetiver. We're going to go ahead and take five drops of lavender. All right. We're going to go ahead and put in two drops of clary sage. And then we're going to go ahead and put in three drops of marjoram. Now, that wasn't very much at all, huh? Probably maybe a couple dollars worth of oils. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill up the bottle with my fractionated coconut oil. And this is actually a great recipe that um, humans can use also on this because they're all nice oils to help you promote relaxation. Oops, I just squirted some out the bottle. So now I have coconut oil all over me, which is okay. All right, you're going to go ahead and put your stopper in, your roller ball, snap it in there. And then, of course, you have your lid, so you're going to want to make that. And you're going to put that on. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and mark this. Um, when I make oils for, for Monty, my bulldog, I go ahead and put a, put a label on it so I know it's not... Um, personally, I don't want, if I'm rolling it on my dog, I don't want to be rolling it on myself, although I should also... Ooh, I don't want to be rolling it on myself also. So you might want to go ahead and mark that. Just going to go ahead and shake it up on there. Um, you can go ahead and put it behind the dog's ears. You can put it between their toes. That's what I do with Monty is I put it, go ahead and put it between my toes or between his toes. You can put it underneath his armpits or his inner thighs. Um, so that's going to be a, a good, good um, way to go ahead and help them be just a little bit more relaxing. Those oils go ahead and promote relaxation for your animals. Um, you know, so just mix that up. You can also go ahead and diffuse that um, blend in your diffuser. So if you're going to be gone, um, you know, please lock your animals in the house and then go ahead and, and diffuse it and that'll go ahead and help them also on there. Um, so, and you can also, you know, um, spray it around on their beds where they're going to be sleeping. If you put, you know, you can put those oils in um, a little bit of water in a glass bottle and spray it also. So those are, that is a great recipe to go ahead and um, help with preventative measures on there. Also, you're always going to want to make sure that your dog has a collar on, especially during these, um, you know, during the loud boomers with the fireworks going on and things and some type of identification tag just in case your your dog or cat does go ahead and get um, you know gets loose from your house or your yard that's um, gonna go ahead and and help whoever picks them up or the Humane Society to um, to you know send notify you that that they have your dog um, I know it's it's just heartbreaking when you're when your dog is gone and you can't find them on there um, you can also go ahead um, and, you know, the larger dogs that you have, go ahead and use a little bit more. The smaller dogs, go ahead and use less. What I would do for a cat is I would go ahead and just actually just roll it. Oh, I got coconut oil all over my hands. I would just go ahead and roll it into my hands 
And then um, go ahead and just maybe put a little bit on their ears for the cats. Cats are a little bit more sensitive than the dogs are um, to the oils themselves. They're actually oils that you cannot use for cats. So any of the oils that um, that you have, um, you want to definitely make sure that they're that they're okay for cats. Those are just a few that you can't that you cannot use it. Um, use the oils for the cats. Um, also, this weekend it's going to be hot where we are. I don't know what the weather's going to be like for you. But definitely go ahead and make sure that your animals, you know, have have proper hydration on there, um, so they so they have their water bowl nice and full for that. Um, also, real quick, I'm actually having a Facebook class tonight on essential oils and your animals. If you would like to join, I'll go ahead and put the link down below on this page, and um, you can go ahead and join. It's a it, again. And it's a Facebook class, so you can come in your PJs, just sit in your living room. It's going to be open for till the 4th of July, through the 4th of July. So if you can't make it tonight, go ahead and take a look at it through the weekend, and you can go ahead and get all the great information there. And then I do email out um, a book on essential oils and animals once you've gone through the class. So if that's of interest to you, please go ahead and, um, and register for the class, and that would be, that would be awesome. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Um, I love you all and take care. Thanks. Bye.